Hello everyone and welcome once again to MJ's Maths and Stats. That's MJ Magic Studio to you. I am your host, your friend, and as usual in the ghost mode, Mohit Jain. And uh, today's session, we will do in TCS. We have some questions from mensuration, two-dimensional mensuration, and uh, based on the question which we have seen on TCS, NQT, and Ninja examination, these are some sample questions designed for practice. So, you know the drill. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Uh, pause the session, try to solve it yourself, and then look out for the solution. Subscribe to the and solve the answer. Dekhne se pehle. So, on this note, let's start now. Okay, let's start with the basics. Uh, the perimeter of three equilateral triangles are in the ratio 6 is to 4 is to 1. What is the ratio of their respective areas? Now the drill is, if uh, for given set of 2D diagrams, if their side ratio is known, then their area ratio is nothing but the duplicate ratio of their side ratio that means area ratio will be just a square is to b square is to c square here the perimeter ratio is given which is nothing but the side ratio because if we divide all by 3 the side ratio will be same therefore the area ratio will be nothing but duplicate ratio of 6 is to 4 is to 1 that is 6 is square is to 4 is square is to 1 is square 36 is to 16 is to 1 Option A is the pick. Rule 5, ratio proportion variation, master class link is there, please go through it. If AO and BO are angle bisectors of angle A and B of a square ABCD, we have a square, all four sides are equal and diagonals are also angle bisectors. So AO and BO are angle bisectors. They are meeting at O. That means this is nothing but midpoint of diagonals with side 20 centimeter. This is 20. Find the area of the triangle AOB. Okay. Now, since it is a square, diagonal also intersect each other. That means AO is equals to OB and diagonal intersect each other at 90 degree. That means if this is X and this is also X, X is square plus X is square is equals to 20 is square. 2X is square is 400. X is square is 200. Area of triangle AOB is half into base into height that is x square by 2 which is 200 by 2 will give us 100 square centimeter area of AOP option A is the pick this is the way or this triangle AOB is nothing but one fourth of the square area one fourth of the area of a square and area of a square is 20 square 1 by 4 into 20 square that will also give us straight away 100 square centimeter so choose any way out answer is 100 square centimeter okay now we have circles the area enclosed between two concentric circle concentric circle means same center one small circle one large circle both are having same center small r radius capital R radius this area is the area enclosed between the two circle that means outer circle area is pi r square minus inner circle area pi small r square that is equals to 770 
so the radius of the inner circle is 14 that means small r is 14 given so pi is 22 by 7 into capital r square minus 14 square is 770 so 11 2 times 11 7 this will go 35 so r is square minus minus 196 equals 35 into 7 35 24 so 245 plus 196 1 10 14 1 441 so r is square is 441 that is nothing but 21 is square therefore capital r is 21 you can also use on screen calculator if you want because tcs on screen calculator allow karta the radius ho gaya what is the circumference of the outer circle circumference formula is 2 pi r so we are looking out for 2 into 22 by 7 into r is 21 3 so it is 44 into 3 132 132 centimeter that is in option a now here we have taken up example from rhombus area of rhombus rhombus means all four sides are equal but uh, all angles are not 90 degree uh, diagonals length are different let it be d1 and d2 then area of rhombus is half into d1 into d2 that is given as 162 square centimeter done length of one of its diagonal is equals to side of equilateral triangle of area this now in case of equilateral triangle if side is a area is given by root 3 by 4 side is square which is equals to 36 root 3 if i cancel this a will be equals to 6 into 2 that is 12 that means one of the diagonal is 12 so 12 by 2 is 6 d2 is 162 by 6 that gives us 2 and 42 7 so the two diagonals are 12 centimeter and 27 centimeter what is the difference between the diagonals of the rhombus they are looking out for d1 minus d2 that is 27 minus 12 15 centimeter yes that we have in option a now here we have rectangular field the perimeter of rectangular field is 2 into l plus b which is 178 goes 8 6 9 89 that means length plus breadth is 89 and the length of its diagonal diagonal is root over l square plus b square that is 65 that means l square plus b square is 65 square 6 into 7 42 2 5 the cost of leveling the field that means we need the area of the field we need the value of a b now l plus b whole square minus of l square plus b square will give me 2 l b so 89 is square 89 into 89 minus 4 2 2 5 divided by 2 that will be the area 1 8 4 8 and cost of leveling will be if we multiply this by 8.50 into 8.5 we'll get 15708 exact so after this is all calculator option a is the pick okay now in the next sample we have an isosceles triangle find the area of an isosceles triangle two sides are equal that means base angles are same with one angle 120 degree this will be 120 degree and side opposite to the largest angle is this is 10 root 3 now we know that these two angles should be same so 120 180 minus 120 is 60 these should be 30 degree 30 degree one more property of an isosceles triangle if we drop a perpendicular from this largest angle on this largest side then this is 90 degree and this will divide the two sides in 
equal halves. So this will be 5 root 3. Now if we look at this triangle A, B, C, A, B by B, C is equals to 10 theta. Now A, B is the height which is equals to 5 root 3 into 10 theta. 10 theta is 1 by root 3. So height is equals to 5 centimeter. Area of an triangle is given by half into base into height. So half base is 10 root 3 and height of this triangle happens to be 5 cancel out this is 25 root 3 square centimeter yes that we have in option a so now we have a parallelogram parallelogram opposite sides are equal and parallel and area of parallelogram is given by base into the distance between these two parallel sides or what we call is height. Now let's see. The base of a parallelogram is 27 units done and the area of the isosceles triangle drawn on the same base between the parallel lines of the parallelogram is 648 square units. Now we know that between the same parallels if we have a parallelogram and if we have a triangle area of triangle is half of the area of parallelogram. Now area of triangle is given as 648 that means area of parallelogram is 648 into 2 which is equals to base 27 into height h. Find the vertical distance between the parallel line they are asking us to find the value of h itself. So it would be 648 into 2 divided by 27 that is 48 that means height or the vertical distance between the two parallel line is 48 uh, units 48 units option A is the fit here now what we have the length of a wire is 42 centimeter. From this wire, a rectangle of length 12 centimeter is made. Okay, that means perimeter would be 42. This is 12. This is 12. 42 half is 21 minus 12 is 9. So this would be 9. Find the ratio of area of the rectangle. Area of rectangle would be 12 into 9. To that of a circle of radius 7 centimeter okay area of rectangle 12 into 9 and uh, area of a circle pi r square 22 by 7 into 7 square so we have 2 6 2 11 6 into 9 is 54 11 into 7 is 77 54 is to 77 is the pick option a What a sample said without a park in a park and walk away. A large rectangular park, 500 meter by 300 meter. This is large. Has two, two meter broad walks. Maybe like this is one, two meter broad one parallel to and the other perpendicular to the length okay so what we were drawing was correct so this is the two walkways two meter if this walkway is to be paved by tiles half meter into half meter how many tiles would be required we need the area of the walkways so if i look at only this this is 300 into 2 and if I look at this walkway which is parallel to the length, its area is 500 into 2. But when I see this common area, common area I have taken twice. Common area is 2 into 2 which we need to deduct. So this is 600, this is 1000, 1600 minus 4 is 1596. 1596 square meter is the area of the path or the walkway. 
now we need to pave it with the tile whose area is half into half meter that is 1 by 4 meter so number of tiles number of tiles required are 1596 divided by 1 by 4 that is 1596 into 4 that is 60 and 384 yes 4 into 4 16 Six three eight four tiles would be required. Option A is the pick. Okay, let's take one more, and this is supposed to be the last one for this particular session. I hope you would be practicing the similar kind of question if you are writing TCS Ninja or TCS NQT because they ask two questions from mensuration, and all are time-based question. a wire is bent into the shape of a rectangle okay this the perimeter of the rectangle is length of the wire of length 40 cm and breadth 16 cm so this is 56 into 2 that is 112 cm is the length of the wire the wire is now rebent into the shape of a square okay that means if these sides are x So four x is one one two, x will be equals to one one two by four, and that is two times and thirty two eight. That means twenty eight centimeter is the side of an square. Find the area enclosed by the rebent wire. That means they are talking about what will be the area of the square. That would be twenty eight square, and that is seven eighty four square centimeter. Option A is the pick. So thank you everyone for participating this is Mohit Jain signing off from MJ Maths and Stats that's MJ Magic Studio to you and uh, I'll see you soon with more sample questions so that you can prepare for any competitive examination you wish to write for and if you want me to uh, solve sample question of any topic for any company specific please let us know subscribe to the channel help it grow comment blah 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 everything you might find that to be cliche but uh, that's valuable for us so on this note stay fit stay healthy and i'll see you soon thank you everyone